hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to see how we can create cards into power apps and have those cards inserted into different teams channels so that data can be collected easily across various channels and can be passed back or saved back to the dataverse table so this entire demo would be split up into two parts where in first part i would be creating a card into power apps and then in second part i'll be using one power automate so whenever a record is created into my tables then that power automate should trigger should read the couple of items or input variables and then send my card into teams channel automatically so that's what we are going to see so right now i'm into power uh, apps portal over here make.powerapps.com and uh, i can create a card if you don't see card directly you can go to more and click on cards where it will make you land on this cards area pane where you can start creating your cards so what are cards? Cards are, cards are again a low code solution which can allow us to create quick components which can be used uh, to share or collect feedback or collect data effectively. So if I go to one of my team's channel, so you would see like uh, this is one of the uh, card which I've created is having nothing but few headers and one input control where uh, that can be used to collect the data for this financial entry. Or you can create the cards which does uh, nothing much but says that good morning and this is a dynamic uh, reading dynamically and showing our uh, area where you can submit your thought of the day and that can be saved back to the dataverse. So this sort of quick actions, quick collection uh, ways you can do with the Power Apps card. So let's start building one of it and I'll use one of the dataverse table that is uh, I've created this is a custom financial table which I've created with multiple columns if I go to better view then you would see a multiple columns this uh, table has country discounts gross sales manufacturing and this is by default the GUID column which would be used as a primary key so I, why I'm telling you because this uh, GUID we are going to use while we are creating cards to have the dynamic entries into our cards so let's start creating the card so I'll just click on this create card and we'll name it as finance gross collection card so we will be having simple one input control over here which can be used to uh, capture the data or take the input from user into the team channel and then save that back to the dataverse i'll just say uh, title i'll just say that a new product entry or new entry for product name for product and over here dynamically will will be taking the product name later on we will use the concatenate function to add the product name in front of this uh, caption the heading and over here i can rename that as please provide the cross sales and i'll add one input control over here so that we can capture the input from the user and i will also add one button so that we can call the patch function on that button save i'll just rename that button as save and now we are going to go to this dataverse to add the table as a data source for us i will find my table name and add it so now the most important thing because we are going to take the input uh, for this card so we have to define few variables which can be used either to as a, as a part of looking up that data or as part of saving or like showing the data so i'm just saying input primary field so this field would be used to look up the data or the record which is in the dataverse so i'll use that as permanent value not value should not be reset and customization yes because we are going to pass that value via our power automate so i'll just say customization is required this field should be required and i'll create one more input field that is just to show the product name so i'll say this product input product name and again this should be permanent and this should come up again from the power automate as an input variable so i'm just saying that customization required so these are quick 
low code power apps card is ready to be used i'm just saving it and before that we have to do a patch operation so that data can be saved into the financial table back so for that i'll use patch function as data source is our financial table and looking i will look up my record based on the primary key field which will be passed as an input primary field so i will say looking up on the source source is again my financial table and the condition so for condition i will be choosing the primary column equal to my input variable input primary field the uh, variable which we just created so it will look up that record so right now it's giving me error why because the, there's a GUID field which is expecting so we have to convert the input into GUID for the comparison and later on we are ready to patch the record so what we are going to patch we are going to patch the gross sales with the text input one and I'll close my formula over here so we are good with this patch formula which is nothing but looking up my record with the primary field and then patching this column so you can have you can create multiple cards for example one team is responsible for the number of sales or one team is responsible for the number of quantity or the logistic to maintain the logistics so the same financial record can be patched or updated with the multiple fields by using this small small card uh, you can share this card in different teams channel and have that uh, input collected in a quick fashion so i'm just saving it and we'll just do a test run so over here it's asking for this input variables which we just created and i'll actually i have copied one guid and this guid would be acting as a primary field or looking up with based on the primary field and this product name you can put anything let's say laptop so it's just for the caption visibility nothing more than that so i'm just saying done i provided my input now my card has opened and we forgot to add the product name in front of it so that's why it's still showing blank but the expected result is product name should be visible over here so i'll just add that one so right now i'll just uh, enter some special number which we can see into our this table i'll just go to my table so this is the record which we are patching and i'm expecting this data should be updated once this save uh data is done so i'm just saying 70 750 clicking on save and the operation is still going on so it's done i'll refresh it i'm expecting the 750 amount of gross sales should be updated in that record yes so gross sales is updated with the 750 the data which we provided over here so we'll just quickly fix our card to show the product name as well so i'll just go to my card back and minimize this formula area and use this add the product name with the concatenate function so i'll use concatenate and the product name which we are having in input product name so we are done i am saving it again so now the first part is done we were able to create one quick power apps card and now we will see how this power apps card can be used into power automate whenever some new entry comes up into this uh, this table so i should trigger this card or this card should be sent to all my the steam channel in general uh, channel with this uh, input area where the person the financial team can provide the input for it so that's the second part which we are going to see in next session so i'm just going to close this one if you have any questions on these cards then do drop your comments i'll be happy to answer that's it for today thank you